In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to convert a long form YouTube video into a short using iMovie. Now, as you can see, I have my iMovie library up right now, and this is the long form video that I want to convert into a short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit these three dots right here, and I'm going to hit on duplicate project. And now you can see that it duplicated it, and I often like to um, rename it. I'm just going to call this short 110. And as you can see, it saved all of the edits that I made on the long form video. So the next step is to actually shorten this because YouTube shorts are a maximum of 60 seconds. And this video right here is over five minutes long. So I'm going to watch through it and I'm going to cut out all of the fluff and everything that I don't want to be included in the short. And my advice to you is to keep the hook because that's what's going to draw people in but also you want to get straight to the point with this short. So whatever your delivery is, you want it to mainly focus on that. So I'm going to take the time to actually watch this and to delete everything so that it's under a minute long. Okay, so I went through this video and I shortened this down from over five minutes to close to a minute. Now, I want this to be under a minute because, like I said, the maximum for shorts is 60 seconds. So since I'm really close, one way that I could do it, aside from deleting more footage, is by highlighting all of my footage, then by going to the speedometer here. And then from here, I can hit this little down arrow underneath speed, and then I want to hit custom. Now, if I increase the speed on this, then it's going to shorten this time. And I would recommend not going over 110 because at that point you're talking too fast for people, for some people to understand you. So let me try 109. And so when I did that, my video went down to under a minute. Now, there's one other important thing that I want to bring to your guys' attention. When I sped this up, what it's going to do is it's going to play my voice very squeaky. Let me show you what I mean. YouTube changed their algorithm around shorts this- Okay, so that's not what I want. So to fix that, I want to highlight all the footage, and then I want to hit on preserve pitch because this won't make my voice all squeaky. So now that I did that, I have a video that's underneath one minute long. And iMovie is a little bit odd when it comes to this because say I were to start with a vertical video like I do right here, if I were to export this horizontal video like it is right now, it's going to come out as horizontal with this black stuff. So what I want is I want my videos to come out vertically. So to do that, there's a trick to this. So again, I want to highlight all of my footage, and then I want to hit on this crop tool right here. And then when I do that, there is this arrow right here. And when I hit it, all of my footage is going to rotate. And I know this looks weird, but um, iMovie is a little bit odd when it comes to exporting vertical video. So now that I did that, I'm going to go through all of these individually and I'm going to fix where it's cropped. So what this does is um, it will allow me to export everything vertically. You'll see what I mean at the end, but as I do this, I use these little yellow lines as a guide because I want them to all be centered and I want them to all be even. So I'm going to take the time to do this. Okay, so that's done. And I know that process can be a bit tedious, but once you start working with iMovie for a bit, you will get that muscle memory and you can just fly by that whole little process right there. The next thing I want to do is I want to rotate and also reposition some of these graphics. So to do that, it's a very similar process. You want to highlight all of the graphics and then go to this crop tool, rotate, hit the blue check mark, and then now all of the stuff is rotated. But now I want to reposition some of it because like this, for example, I don't want right on my face. So I'm just going to move that over. Um, same for this right here. This is actually fine where it is. So I'm going to leave that alone. And then finally, this last piece right here. So now I have my video and everything is positioned the way that I want it to. 
So before exporting, I would just look everything over, make sure that, you know, your short flows and that, you know, everything is the way that you want it to be. So once you do that, then you want to export it. So to do that, you can hit this icon at the top right, export file. And then from there, hit next. I'm just going to save this to my desktop and I'm going to give it a minute to export. Okay, so now I have my video. And if I click on it, you can see that it's still um, horizontal. So to convert it to vertical, um, what you want to do is you want to open it with your QuickTime player. I know this is a little bit weird, but some of the features on Mac, um, you kind of have to get around. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to hit rotate right. And then boom, from there, I have my short. So now that this is done, I mean, I can use this for YouTube. I mean, I can repurpose it for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Reels. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions down below. If you really need one-on-one -on -one support with this, then you can actually sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session with me. And what we'll do is we'll get in a Zoom and I will help you with whatever problems you are experiencing, whether that be with the strategy, with a technical part of stuff like this, or even if you're just somebody who is working to build their YouTubepreneur mindset. So yes, you can sign up for that down below. I would be more than happy to help you get you to where it is that you want to be. Be sure to like and subscribe and tune in for bi-weekly videos. Much love to you all, and I will see you for the next one.